Hi, everyone. Welcome back to our third episode of our Sway 360 digital newsletter. It is January 2021. Let's get started. Welcome back. Happy New Year to everyone. I have 2021 behind me. We have finally made it out of 2020 and into 2021, which means we have more work to do, more impact to make. And here at Sway360, our mission remains to be able to provide equitable access to great teaching for students anywhere. So we thank you for joining us. Today, we have three new product updates that we want to share with you. And then I'm going to dig a little bit deeper into a product feature that already exists, but want to make sure that all of our teachers understand the instructional design of how our content management system is put together. So let's get started on our product updates share my screen with you and I'll be able to show you those updates right now. All right, we'll make my screen a little bit bigger. So here we are on the dashboard and the first new product update that I want to share with you is it's easy now more than ever to be able to move your questions around within your assignments or assessments. So I'm going to go to select one of my assessments here and I'm going to choose my equations assessment. I'm going to edit that. And once we get into the assessment, we'll be able to scroll down to where our questions are. So we've already put our question in, questions in here, but let's say as a teacher, you decided you wanted to reorder that. That should be very simple for you. Just select reorder questions and you can drag and drop those. Select save and now you have a new order. Very simple for you. The other thing I wanna share is previously, whenever you created a independent assignment or assessment, you actually would be provided a pop-up window, you'll now be directed to a whole new page. So if I wanna create a new assignment, and again, this will go for assessments as well, it will actually redirect you to an entirely new page where you can add all the things that you love to add, your time, all these attachments are on a brand new page. So functionality, very similar, but it's directed to a new page and a new look for you. Now you can add questions to existing assignments or assessments very easily from your question builder. So we'll go to our question builder. Let's say we just created a bunch of questions and we want to be able to quickly add those to existing assessments or assignments. So we just created our questions. Now we're, we have our questions list and we want to select these two questions and add them to an assessment. We'll select add. And there you have a list of existing assessments. You can select which ones you want to add them to, and then you add, and they will now be a part of those assessments. Super simple. So again, you can move questions around very easily within existing assignments and assessments. When you have questions already loaded in there, you can reorder them. There's a standalone page now for the assignments and assessments. When you go to create new ones, you'll be directed there. And now from your questions builder page, you can easily add those questions to assignments and assessments. Now an existing feature that I wanna focus on today is our content management system and really being able to manage your courses, lessons, assignments, and assessments when they're all tied together, when all those assets work together as one. So I'm gonna go into my manage courses. When you go into courses, it'll bring up existing courses or you can create a new one. So it'll give you this pop-up window as normal. And you'll now notice when you create, when you click the uh, course that you'd like, it'll actually show you here an outline of all the assets that are tied to that course. So I selected Kevin W Algebra 1, and it's showing me all the assets that are actually tied to that course. Now, if I wanna see those assets and view those, I can now select anywhere on here to see those. So if you want to see anything tied to this lesson, you can click on any of these pieces. Same thing with this lesson, these two assets with that, and same thing with this lesson, these two assets with that. I'm not going to go through all those, but as an example, let's say I want to see the assets inside of this lesson down here. I'm going to select this. And now you can see that third lesson, all of the different various assets associated with it. If you click on any of these, it'll take you down there. So it is showing me just all the assets tied to that lesson I was referencing, which is tied into this main course. So I can quickly view and see what those are. I can see the attachments here. So this is a major benefit for teachers to be able to quickly view 
all the things inside their course and all the assets tied to those lessons in the course. Let's say I'm in here and for this particular lesson, I can see the subject grade and state and let's say I want to create a lesson, create an assignment or create an assessment. You can quickly select that and add any assets you want to that lesson. So I wanted to just really quickly make sure that everyone understood that if you want to attach assets and be able to quickly use those, you select the course you're working with, you can see the outline of all the assets for that course and within each lesson in that course, you can click on those assets and come to this page, edit those and create new ones. Thank you so much for joining us. Again, we wish you a happy new year. We appreciate all the hard work that teachers, other educators, students have put in this year, parents, families, we appreciate you. We hope you have an amazing year. We thank you for joining this third episode and we will talk to you soon.